The problem with filming plants is that they don't really move a great deal. Well, not that we can perceive. So we had to get really inventive with technology that was going to help us to get into the plant world like we've never been able to do before. It was probably about like a, maybe 10 years ago I really started getting into photography and started learning how to build my own equipment because quite frankly I didn't have enough money to afford a lot of the nice motion control equipment so I uh, started learning how to build it my own. You have so many different things that you have to do. You have to control the plants. You have to have motion control equipment that you're running for it. You need to be able to build sets and stuff like that. And it was just so many different things that come together. Most plants are growing at a, a rate that's just too slow for us to appreciate. You can come back the next day and you think, oh yeah, that's grown. But if you're not squeezing that day into a few seconds, you can't actually see it. This is quite a fast moving plant. These tendrils whip round to do a, a whole circle in about four hours. So I'm going to set it to run probably just all day today and tonight. So it should have been done by tomorrow morning. where we set it up it took us like three days to build the move work out all the all the little twists and turns and then we had to predict where the plants were going to be growing and then the actual shot took about a month because we were growing plants from seed allowing climbers to come right up and fill lots of space and fight each other on a sort of wider shot respond to the behavior of the plant you can, in a sort of reactive way and it would be just like you were filming an animal you, you know you're you're waiting for it to to run off and it goes in the opposite direction so you, you you pan with it we can sort of do the same with the plant but it's where you need to know what the plant's likely to do and if you see it starting to do that bit of action once you know the plant you can say oh yeah it's going to head that way and you can set the rig to move in advance so you're you're keeping with it and you're keeping the action in the right bit of the frame while outside there's a lot of things that move plants around and changing conditions all the time it's either raining the sun comes in and out the lights changing it goes dark at night animals come along and eat things so Basically in the studio you control all those variables and then you can concentrate on just what the plant's doing. I think the difference now with this series is we can bring the plants much more to life as, as characters and follow them around, tell their story in a much more dynamic way. After 40 years of filming time-lapse, these rigs have opened up a whole new world for us.